never been here before my name is Jacqueline blah 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 hello guys so basically this video is gonna be very very unorganized and not really well planned because it kind of just came to me while I was taking pictures I was like huh maybe some people would want to you know like see how other people take pictures on their own so this is basically my tutorial on how I take my own photos because I know a lot of the times um, I like creating content most of the time I don't have a photographer usually I would ask my sister to help me but that bitch is always busy now so I just learned to make self timer my best fucking friend this is just a little insight behind the scenes of how I take my own pictures I mean some of the stuff that I do obviously it is cooler because I have a projector but you can still take photos on your own without a projector like some of the pictures that I got on here were really good without the projector so it doesn't mean that you have to have a projector you just really need a camera self timer and it would really help if you had like a phone and a camera that can connect to the phone but if not you can still use your iPhone and if you don't have an iPhone then I don't know man <laughs> but yeah if you want to see how I take my pictures then follow along so this is how I connect my phone to my camera. My camera is the Canon T6i, connecting it through the Wi-Fi function. And I named mine Jacqueline, so it's a little bit easier to find. You just connect it on your phone, open the Camera Connect app, you click on Remote Live View Shooting, and you can now see a live feed of the camera straight from your phone. This is how I take pictures of myself so I can see myself, I can adjust the settings and I set it on a self timer with a continuous shot of 10 and that's basically how it goes. As you guys can tell from the message, it was recorded off a of fucking calculator. Just kidding, it was off of my MacBook photo booth because I wasn't really planning on even making this video and it came to me as I was taking these photos. So I project this graphic, which I literally got from Google. I'm pretty sure I just looked up green binary code and that was one of the results that came up. Now I'm just kind of doing random poses, making weird faces, and the whole time I'm using self timer and the camera connect app, that way I can kind of see myself and readjust myself, and as you can see, a lot of it is just trial and error, I do have to keep adjusting and it's not as simple as it seems. But of course, if you do it right, and once you find your pose and your angle, you come out with some magical shit. All right guys, this is the second look. I basically projected this water graphic and I'm wearing a swimsuit now. I thought it would be cool to do like a swimsuit with a water look, but it didn't actually come out the way I really wanted to because the sun kind of started coming out so the projection wasn't showing as well. I still did get some pretty good pictures, but it wasn't exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Here I am just trying to switch up the poses and the angles and make sure I'm not only taking pictures from my good side. Cause we gotta switch it up sometimes, you know? Gotta give a little bit of variety and bam, there you go. Hi guys, it's day two of me doing this projector photo shoot stuff. I look a little bit crazy right now. I'm not, I didn't even bother doing my makeup. I literally just put on lashes and like filled in my eyebrows a little bit. And we're gonna try and do this little like Chinese look. And I'm kind of want to project like red letters and like red vibe on it. So we'll see how that goes. Basically, this is the setup. I have my projector over there, my laptop. I'm trying to project this like red Chinese text thing. That's my prop. I have my phone set up. I also have my laptop to record me because I don't can't trust this camera. And yeah, I'll give you a little behind the scenes of how I take my pictures. 
all right guys so as you can see i have this little parasol umbrella prop i don't really know where i got it it kind of just was hanging around in my apartment and i was like oh this is perfect so i've been using that projected some red binary code on myself and a lot of it is again trial and error sometimes i think it's gonna look really well and then it doesn't so don't be intimidated if things aren't going exactly to plan here i tried it out with blue and bam Okay, sorry for this really shitty angle where I just literally cut myself out of it, but um, this is a different setting because I wanted to try it without the projection because I just wanted, you know, a cute pic. And so I did it with my window and got these. Hello, so I moved on to another look. This camera keeps dying randomly, so I'm not even sure if I got everything, but fingers crossed. Um, I'm gonna do this reflective outfit. I'm gonna try to do it myself because it needs flash, and I don't know if I can do it, but it's a test run. We'll see how it goes. Deuces! A small modeling tip for you guys is every time it takes a different shot to switch up your pose, that way at least you have more variety in your poses, more movement, more candids, and it gives you more chances of getting the better shot. Okay, let's see what that looked like. I never did it with flash before. Oh my god, guys, look how thick this is. Like, I'm, this is an unedited amazing. We don't even have to try. We're done. <laughs> okay, actually I'll just take some more just in case. Sometimes I think it looks good and then I go back and look at it and then something, like some little tiny thing just fucking it up. run out of poses at one point. I'm going to attempt to show you how I also can take pictures on my iPhone too because sometimes I don't have my DSLR ready all the time so the iPhone camera is like works wonders. Portrait mode, I will fucking marry you. That's how much I love it. But yeah, here's a little behind the scenes. I do it on portrait mode. I put it on self timer for 10 seconds. And then we just go to motherfucking work, bitch. Also be aware that when you take pictures, an Instagram crop is four by five. So make sure you take pictures a little bit farther out because you can always crop in, but you can't crop out. And that's that guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys get inspired to recreate some of your own looks and take your own self portraits. Obviously if you recreate anything and you wanna tag me in it, I would love to see it because I would love to get inspired from you guys as well. And yeah, I hope you guys appreciated my little behind the scenes. I'll see you guys next time, bye.